Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to discuss the topic of locus because this will give us a solid foundation when we start to explore conics or conical sections. So a locus is simply a set of points in a two-dimensional plane that satisfies some given condition. And I like to think of it as a path that is traced out by a moving point in accordance to some predefined law. Now if that's still a mouthful don't worry because they are easy because they only require you to know Pythagoras theorem in order to find them. So let's go ahead and do an example to understand how we can find a locus. So in example one find the locus of a point P that is four units from the point Q which has the coordinates 3, 0. So when we're starting out with these problems it's always good to represent them on a Cartesian plane because this will greatly help us to understand the problem better. As I say, a picture tells a thousand words. So the point Q located at 3, 0 so let's say 3 on the x-axis is about here. So this is the point Q. And let's put the point P arbitrarily here. And it has the coordinates X, Y. And all we know is that the distance from P to Q must be 4 units. So these are the parameters of this problem. And straight away, intuitively, we should know what this locus is going to be. Because if P must be at a distance of 4 from Q, then P is restricted to the edge of a circle that is of radius 4 centered at Q. Now that's a very wobbly circle, but you get the idea. But let's now go ahead and find the equation for this locus. And as I said before, all we needed to know was Pythagoras theorem in order to do that. If we construct a right angle triangle from the point P to the point Q, then the length of the horizontal edge of the triangle is going to be equal to x minus 3 and the length of the vertical edge of the triangle is going to be equal to y minus 0. And by Pythagoras theorem, we know that the hypotenuse is 4. So we have 4 squared is equal to x minus 3 squared plus y minus 0 squared. And straight away, this is the equation for a circle that is centered at 3, 0 with a radius of 4. Because the equation of a circle is given by r squared is equal to x minus a squared plus x minus b y minus b squared. And we're not done yet because to get the equation of the locus we have to expand all of this out and get everything equal to 0. So 4 squared is equal to 16 and expanding the first parentheses out we get x squared minus 6x plus 9 so that's just binomial expansion of the first squared term and binomial expansion of the second term simply gives us y squared so the locus equation is x squared plus y squared minus 6x so getting the 16 on the other side we get 9 minus 16 is equal to minus 7 and this of course equals 0. Now in my opinion this equation is a lot more meaningful because we can see that it is an equation of a circle. It is harder to see what this equation is expressing but this is the actual equation for the locus. Alright for example to find the locus of a point P that moves in such a way that it is equidistant from the point Q at 1 negative 2 and the point R at 6, negative 4. 
So again, the first thing to do is to plot the points Q and R. So if we have point Q at 1, negative 2, and 1 is approximately here on the x-axis, and negative 2 is approximately here. We have the point Q here. With R, if 6 is approximately here on the x-axis, and negative 4 is approximately here, then R would be represented by this point. And we have to find a point P, which I'll draw arbitrarily here, with the coordinates X and Y, and the distance from P to Q, and the distance from P to R, must be equal to each other, because that's what the word equidistant means. OK, now if I construct a right angle triangle from the point Q to the point P, the length of the horizontal component of the triangle would be x minus 1, and the y component would be y minus negative 2, which translates to y plus 2. And if I do the same thing for P to R, the y component is y minus negative 4, which translates to y plus 4, and the x component is x minus 6. Alright, so we're given that the distance PQ is equal to the distance PR, and if I square both sides, I'll have PQ squared is equal to PR squared. And by Pythagoras theorem, PQ squared is equal to X minus 1 squared plus Y plus 2 squared. And PR squared is equal to X minus 6 squared plus Y plus 4 squared. And expanding each of these terms out, on the left hand side I'll get x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared plus 4y plus 4. On the right hand side I'll get x squared minus 12x plus 36 plus y squared plus 8y plus 16. And now it's a matter of simplifying this and getting everything on one side. So I have an x squared on the left and I have an x squared on the right and they cancel. Similarly I have a y squared on the left and a y squared on the right and they will cancel. So I'm left with minus 2x plus 4y. Now 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. And if I bring everything over from the right hand side, so uh, minus 12 becomes a positive 12. Positive 8y on the right becomes a negative 8y on the, r on the left. 36 plus 16 is equal to 52. And that on the left hand side becomes a negative 52. And then I have 0 left remaining. So simplifying this, I'll get 10x minus 4y and 5 minus 52 is equal to negative 47 equals 0. So the locus is a straight line with the equation 10x minus 4y minus 47 and this line will be more or less represented by this green line that I'm drawing now. This green line will bisect and be perpendicular to a straight line that joins P, that joins Q and R. So that will do for our first video on locus, and we will do a couple more examples in the next video. But if you found this video useful, please give me a like, and please feel free to discuss any points that you didn't understand in the comments, or ask any question. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've learned something.